welcome back. We're here. And guess what? The comfy support drop for Stable Cascade. So what I'm going to do is take you through it. Um, I've already put together a workflow, which has got built in high res, a couple of notes about how you can squish this into your graphics card. So if you're a comfy UI user and you want to check out Stable Cascade, first thing you're going to need is obviously the models. But which ones do you need? And the reality is you're going to need all of them, except you'll match them to your card. So this is the smallest, this is the next smallest, then there's the next smallest, and then that's the full-sized one, right? And what you do is you have to match B and C. But I've left notes for you in the workflow. And you can get the workflow by either going to my article on Civit, which also has the information here. So this shows you where to put the models in Comfy if you're unsure and have to get them manually. And this shows you the combinations you can choose uh, and then how much VRAM you can expect that to take up when you're generating. Obviously, it depends how big the image is, but generally speaking, you can make pretty, you can make some big images with, with Cascade. It's very good at making big images. Anyway, I won't waste your time because you can take some time and read this. So first thing you're going to need is the workflow, which is linked here. And if I just go back, here's my workflow. You can download it at the top. All right. Obviously, I'm going to add new versions as uh, other things are supported. So watch this space. Full information is all here. The video that you're watching now is going to be linked here as well. So, you know, there it is. Hello again. Um, but if we just go to the actual workflow here, and let me just step through it really quickly. Um, I'm actually going to go at it from the back, which will make sense. Okay. So basically, inside VAE folder, Stable Cascade, we have stage A, which is about 73 megabytes. And that is going to do our VAE decode at the end. And then the second case sampler is going to be using the uh, UNET folder, Stable Cascade, stage B. Now, all the paths and everything are all in these notes for you, along with the memory so you can get an idea of how big the files are and st such. And then what it's doing is it's mixing the conditioning with a zero out from the clipping code. I, I won't make it too complicated. Basically, what's happening is you've got stage B here and you've got stage C here. Now, the clip, I think, is one of our VITs that we use in IP adapter. I, I can't be 100% sure. I think it was H, but I, I haven't checked. Um, all I know is you download this one. And that is inside the text encoder folder. So it's the same file, 100%. So, um, and then you put that one inside models, clip, stable cascade, model, right? And like I said, you have a choice. So if you have a big 4090, you'll be able to run stage B and C. But there's not much difference between that and the BF16 version. And that will run on 12 gigabytes, just about, you know, depends how big the image is. Finally, B and C Lite will run on 8, and, uh, the, and the BF16 versions, which are pretty much the same as that, will run on 5. So anybody can use this, all right? Anybody can use this. Just because you've got a little card doesn't mean you can't mess around with this. Now, I haven't tested the Lite versions for resolution, but I've got a little guide. I'm using this version. I used to have a 3060. Now I run a 4090. But... This will be good for, I think, for most people. But if I, if I just come down here, what I've done is I've put together a divisible by eight, uh, centered around thirty seventy two, which seems to be a really nice space. Also, uh, OpenAIR user Data LT he recommended increasing the compression from forty two to sixty four, and it's still producing nice images. So obviously, that's a, it's like a built in. High res fix, I guess. If we just start an image here. So again, if we take it from the proper way around, what's happening is we're loading stage C and the text encoder. We then give it a prompt and a negative prompt. We do our first set of uh, sampling and then we send the latent into the stage B conditioning. And then that does another uh, sam another case sampler into the stage A decoder. So that's that's how it's set up, and it works really nicely. We get some good results. So there we go. We've got a cutaway of the inside of a space station, which is what I asked for. If I just check out another couple of images that I've already made here. So there we go. 
And some people were talking about, it's a bit squished because of my aspect ratio. I think if you get the correct aspect ratio, you'll get more realistic looking images for what you're prompting. Um, yeah, this is what I wanted to talk about. So finally, negative prompts. So these, this image has the same positive prompt as the next three. But as you can see, there's a big difference between this image, which is about 3,000 by 2,000 something, I think. If I go to the next image, I had to negative prompt big chin, okay, to fix this. And I had to negative prompt deformed to fix that, all right? Because she had no nostrils and a big chin. And then it comes out okay. Um, there's a couple more, which we've done with like neon lights and then without the photo conditioning so it can be a bit more art style -y, you know um and then here i had it too tall so stretched necks it still looks good it's just got a stretched neck um because again it was too much i think this is two to one which is too much and again you can you always know when the aspect ratio is off because you get weird stuff like this going on but it did a really good job of making it work <laughs> So there it is. Now, I don't want to go on for too long. So that's pretty much everything I had to say. Hit me in the comments if you get stuck. There's discussion on the article. There's feedback you can give me here. Whatever images you make, you can also share here as well. So I'd love to see some of the stuff that you make with it. So there it is. I'll be back with more uh, versions which will support other things. I want to do image to image and control net next if I can. So keep an eye on this. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. My channel is literally like a couple of weeks old. Um, and yeah, see you next time.